Here's another reading from uh, Emmett Fox in his book, uh, Make Your Life Worthwhile. This one's called The Song of God. I also wrote a song about this one, too. <laughs> Who are you? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Most probably you have not. Such a question would have seemed absurd because you took your identity so much for granted. Had anyone else put the question, you would have said, I'm John Smith, I live at such and such an address, I am so many years old, I am the son of Henry Smith, and I am in such and such a business. And you might add that you were a member of the right church and the right political party. Well, these statements are correct enough as far as they go, as a description of the picture you are projecting at the present time, but, and here's the rub, it is only a picture. It is all just a dramatization of your sincere beliefs about yourself. It is not the real you. It is but a passing, unstable symbol of your current mental attitude. Nothing more. The real you is a spiritual being, perfect and eternal and incorruptible. The real you is the living expression of God himself, expressing potentially every quality of God in his own image and likeness. What is man? He is a part of God's self-expression. God sings a song, and that song is man. A song, as you know, expresses the whole nature of the singer. The singer's instrument is not just the vocal cords. It is his whole body and his whole mind. If the singer should be sick or tired or angry, these things would appear in the song. If his heart is filled with joy and beauty and divine love, these things too are expressed in the song. Man is the song of the divine singer, and celestial harmony is his nature. Why does God sing? For sheer joy. Not for any ulterior motive, or for any sort of gain or advantage. God expresses himself for the pure joy of living, because he is God. This is the real or absolute truth but it is our task to demonstrate it, to bring it into practical reality, to change the limited picture that we see into the glorious truth that we know. We do this only by letting God do it through us. I have said, ye are gods. All of you are children of the Most High. Stand shoulder to shoulder